One's going to make America great again. One thinks the status quo is fine. The other has absolutely no clue what they're doing. It is what it is. Trust the Lord. Make your decisions based on prayer and fasting. Make your decisions based on the word of God. You say, don't tell me who I need to vote for, preach. I ain't talking about voting. I'm talking about praying and getting close to God and letting God lead you in your everyday life. Letting God tell you what you should do. Are the footsteps of a good man ordered by a politician or by the Lord? Ordered by the Lord, isn't it? Straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to life. And there'll be few that find it. Why? Because their life is full of debate. You notice all the other things that that word debate was in there with? Unrighteousness, fornication, covetousness, maliceness, full of envy, murder. Right beside the word murder. See, there's one thing that I'm so thankful for out of a world of confusion, Jeremy, out of a world of such uncertainty, we have one absolute, don't we? Yes, we I want you to let that sink into your heart. We, as a church, as a body of Christ, we have an absolute. Everybody wants to argue about the Bible. I, I, I cannot argue an absolute. I, there's no point in it. It is what it is. He's the Lord. He's the King of Kings and He's coming again. And they want to debate it, don't they? You cannot debate an absolute. Jesus Christ is absolutely coming again. He's absolutely the one that will save your soul. And He's absolutely the only one that can do it. And there's no debating that. He's absolutely the only one that died for you. Children, where's the youth at? If you're 21 and under, stand up. Eddie. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> no, don't sit down. Whoa. Rise to your feet again. <laughs> 21 and under, stand up. Your mother and your father, your family loves you very much. Each and every one of you, you have absolutely no clue the love a father and a mother have for their children. You have no clue. But as much as they love you, and Jesus Christ knows this, he absolutely knows this. He smiles on the love that a mother and father has for children. Yes, he does. But he knew something that mom and dad couldn't do for you. And Jesus said, I love you even much more than your mother and father love you. They're going to keep you and keep you warm and they're going to feed you and they're going to work many hours in places that's not fun to work. Sometimes staying away from home working crazy hours with horrible people sometimes to take care of you. Put the clothes on your back and your shoes on your feet. TV at home, even the comforts of life. But there's something they couldn't do for you. They could love you and keep you safe. But they couldn't promise you a home in heaven. And Jesus knew that. So he came to earth. And he died and offered up a sacrifice that your mom and dad couldn't offer up. They sacrificed their time to work, to take care of you because they loved you. Jesus Christ gave his life that you might live with him forever. And that one day when you go to heaven, you'll never be separated from your mother and father again, ever. Don't let there be any debate in your mind that heaven's real. Amen. God loves you. 
And he did these things for you. He did them for me. And he'll do them for your children if God tarries. But God loves you and he'll keep you. And if there's a need tonight, don't let there be any debate in your mind. Take a look at these children. Let your life influence them in a good way. Let your footsteps be ordered by the Lord. Let your voice be heard in heaven frequently. Enter into the throne room with boldness and tell God what you want. God don't want you to come there and debate. God wants you to come in there with an absolute. Knowing that Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You come in blood bought and God will recognize you. He'll know your name. He'll know your need before you even get there. Parents, grandparents, let's walk before these children holy, the best that we can, and set the best example for them to follow. They're coming up in a world that we haven't seen before. Right now, we're the farthest into the future we've ever been this very second. We need to pray for them. We need to be prayed up. We need to get to the point that not only we bear our own troubles, but we can bear everybody else's too. We can pray for them and help carry the cross of our brother, our sister in Christ. And we pray for revivals and we fast for revivals. And we fellowship one with another. And we come and we talk about the Lord. And God will keep us. If you'd stand with us tonight. Tonight, don't let there be any debate in your heart. Don't let there be any debate. Any debate of anything that's in your life. If you're sick tonight, there's no debate in my mind that Jesus Christ can heal you. There's no doubt in my mind if you're lost. If you come tonight and you ask the Lord to save your soul, he will save your soul tonight and write your name in heaven. If you're weak, don't let there be any debate that Jesus Christ will make you strong tonight. You're having problems at work, at home. The devil will put a strain on marriage. He'll put a strain on your work life. He'll put a strain on everything. But tonight, if you have any problems, I beg you, come to Jesus tonight and tell him everything that's on your heart. Everything. Even if you don't ever come to the altar, why don't you come up and just tell him. Tell him everything. You got lost family. Don't let there be any debate that God can save them or that they will be saved.